Let's learn how to add a trail to an object in Unity 2D. This will also work in 3D as well, but I want to show you how I took my game from this to this. I'm making a Suica-inspired game, but instead of fruit, it's with planets and space. And now each of my planets has a little trail of light behind it. This is surprisingly simple to do, but there is one major pitfall that I haven't seen mentioned in other tutorials, so stick around, and by the end of this you will know how to properly implement a trail. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is take account of how many objects in your scene that you want to have this effect. So for me, I have all of these planet prefabs. So I have about nine items here in total that I want to have this trail. So what I've found to be the easiest thing to do is just to create a, another prefab and put it as a child object of the other prefabs. Now you can skip this step if you just have one object that you want to have the trail. But for me, I want to be able to kind of customize in bulk. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. So I have all of my prefabs in a folder. So I'm going to go over to my, my not planets folder. So I'm going to actually, I'll go over here. So I'm going to create a new empty game object. I'm going to name this trail. And then I'm going to add a trail renderer component. And there we go. This is the piece that actually generates the trail. It's a feature built into Unity, so it's super cool. But out of the box, it doesn't quite work for most use cases. So we're going to need to do a little bit of tweaking here. For now, I'm just going to leave it as is and show you how I'm setting this up. So I'm just going to drag this into my prefabs folder, copy and paste my trail component to each of my game objects one at a time. Now if we go into one of these, we can kind of preview what it's going to look like before it actually shows up in our scene. So we can set up what we want here and this will allow us to kind of debug as we go. So instead of having all of the variables come in at once, you're just doing it in this very closed environment. So we can actually just play around with like the X values here to see how it's going to look. And of course, out of the box, not what it's going to look like, but that's the general idea here. So now if I go in and edit this, it should apply to all of my objects. So the first thing I want to do is I want to reduce that width. So let's bring this down to maybe like point three or something. And then by default, there's no material, which is why it's showing up as pink. So we can search for a material here. Um, there's a default line material already created, so we can just select that. And then if you want a really nice taper, what you can do, if the width looks like this and it's just a straight line, the width is going to stay the same measurement throughout the life of the trail. So first thing we can do is let's bump that time down to maybe like a half a second. Because we don't want a trail that's five seconds long, it's really long. And then we can double click over here and bring it down to zero. And this will give us a nice trail. And if you want to go even further, what you can do is click on the color. And then at the very end, we can adjust the alpha value to zero. So it'll start out very bright and then it will fade slowly down to um, completely transparent. So now if I go into my star and I mess around with these values, there we go. Look at that. Of course, you'll want to zero out anything before you go back. <laughs> but but that's the general idea that we're going for here. So we can get a little nice preview of it working now. But um, you'll notice that our trail is actually in front of our prefab. It's in front of our game object. It's not behind it. So this is the big pitfall that I was talking about, especially for 2D. So if you want to show it behind your game object, you have to do one more step here. And we go to our trail. So you'll see down here in the additional settings, we have our sorting layer and our order in the layer. So I'm just going to be using the default sorting layer. You can if you want to go in here and add more. I don't have a whole lot of layers going on, so I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do 
since this star is also on the default layer and I want to put it behind, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to negative one. So the higher the value of the number, the more forward it is. So this should solve that little problem right there. And there we go. And now we have a really nice trail that comes behind our game object. Now, <laughs> the only thing with this, now that we have this working, is sometimes your other layers in your scene will get messed up as well. But this is why it's really nice to kind of set up how you want it before you bring it into your game so you know that like, yes, for a fact, this is working. So if I take you over here and I take you to my game view, run this real quick. So I should be seeing a trail here and I'm not. So even though it's working, even though we've set it up properly, there's one more thing we need to do. And this is happening because our background sorting layer is actually in front of the trail sorting layer. So even though we're seeing the game objects, the trail is actually rendering behind the background. And I can show you this in the 3D view. Let's bring this game over here. There it is. So you can see that the trail is rendering, but the camera isn't picking it up. So what we need to do is we need to go into our background right here and set this order in the layer. See, it's zero. The other one was at negative one, so I'm gonna put this at negative two. And there we go, we got our little trail right there. We got our little comet trail. Look at it go. And the nice thing about having it in the prefab is that it's still a little bit too strong for me and it's a little bit too long, so now all I have to do is go in one place. I'm gonna change this to 0.2 and I'm gonna knock this down even further to maybe like 0.35. And there you have it, that's how it's done. And that is literally it. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.